Welcome to this video introduction to Indersnet. In the first half of this video, we will learn about the background and premise of this immersive visual world, and you'll see concept designs for our 2D Visualizer's digital prototype, which is still in the early stages of its own development. It will serve as a testing ground to perfect the development of the 3D Visualizer and a future online game, which, once completed, will be available as mobile apps and desktop software. The second half of the video will show us some of the features of the current 3D prototype in action. According to the Buddhist allegory of Indra's net, humanity consists of a web made of threads of light stretching horizontally through space and vertically through time. At every intersection dwells an individual, and in every individual dwells a bead of light. This and other light metaphors have been woven into the human psyche since the dawn of civilization. It permeates, for one, the English language, evidenced by the phrases create a spark, beam with enthusiasm, moment of illumination, brilliant idea, and her face lit up. These light metaphors form the basis for our interest net, a digital world that depicts the individual and their psychological states and social interactions as a circular vessel that emanates light and can send light beams to and receive light from other vessels. The glow within the vessel is called the inner light, representing the user's creative life force and their source of energy. The inner layer represents the inner self and mind, and the space within houses the inner light and depicts the realm in which the user thinks. The vessel's outer layer represents the image of oneself they project to others, however truthful. Thoughts are represented by beams of light, which are literally reflected on inside the inner layer. Thoughts can also be expressed by making the layers more transparent so that the beam one is bouncing around can leave the vessel and be received by another vessel. Part of the visualizer's purpose is to be able to compare one's past, present, and possible future selves. Using self-report questionnaires from the Hexaco Personality Inventory Revised, the user will be able to craft a vessel that represents themselves at whatever point in their past or future they choose, and they can take the test to reflect who they used to be, who they are now, or who they would like to be. These can be saved as different versions in editor mode, where the user can also adjust their hexaco trait values at any time. The user can then move to simulator mode, where they can see how their thinking and interacting with others is affected by changes in their personality profile, which is represented by changes in different attributes of their vessel and inner light. The visualizer is a tool that will enable users to visualize, explore, and better understand their inner worlds. It is expected to have transformative value as a form of art therapy based on principles of cognitive science that requires no artistic skill wherein outputs have straightforwardly interpretable meanings. This project aims to 1. render psychosocial processes less elusive and thus more manageable by deploying the power of visualization in a digital software. 2. Assess the effectiveness of these tools, and 3. Use them as a source of data to better understand our capacity for psychosocial growth. Now that we understand some of the basics, let's transition to our 3D prototype and progress of Indra's Net. In the second half of the video, you'll see a couple of Indra's Net's essential features and how they work up close. First, let's look at translucency. We've used the term transparency in other explanations because it includes the connotation of being open with other people as opposed to closed off. In this video, I'll use the terms interchangeably to refer to the same thing. Now, this is the primary attribute of the Indersnet avatar, this spherical vessel, that the user can adjust in real time to control how and when he or she reflects on private thoughts or communicates them to others. At this point, we don't have multiple layers of the sphere and can't adjust the thickness of those layers. Smoothness, however, can be changed with this surface noise slider. Now, smoothness represents how honest one is with others and with oneself. The tendency to not be perfectly authentic and candid with others and in one's own mind is depicted with these surface defects. This focus slider will show us how a thought, currently a pink laser beam, can look when more focused or diffuse which is how well or little a thought has been thought through. Intensity represents how emotionally intense a thought is. Now we will project a new thought within the vessel, the mind, and see how it interacts with the shell. 
we see that this small beam partially reflects inside the sphere and partially refracts out. Here the person will be thinking aloud, we could say, since the vessel is alone and some light is going out while some stays in. We can see that with more surface defects, the more light bounces around at strange angles. We can also see that changing smoothness even a little bit really affects the shape and appearance of the vessel. With a perfectly smooth vessel, representing a theoretically completely honest person, we see how perfectly the light is reflected around inside the vessel. If we ran this for long enough, we'd see the light form this star-like shape within the vessel. Perfect smoothness is unlikely, however, because smoothness and the level of surface noise are influenced by a user's honesty humility statistics when they initially take the hexaco personality scale, and few people lie on either extreme of this scale. A user can expect their vessel to be somewhat rough around the edges, kind of like what we see here. Light bouncing around at irregular angles will make it a little more challenging to reflect on one's own thoughts and communicate with others. This represents how what we say or think is often somewhat slanted or bent because of how we want others to think of us, or how we want to think of ourselves. Now, with transparency, the user can represent how open they want to be with the people around them. An opaque vessel is required to think private thoughts, but in conversation, it can also represent the choice to be less open with those around you. With our nearly opaque vessel here, little light from the beams can get out, and little would be able to get in, representing someone who is choosing not to engage with or listen to those around them, which may be good for self-protection in a hurtful argument, but would be detrimental in other kinds of conversations. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of Indra's Net, and thank you for watching.